Avoiding fake news can be really hard. Misinformation, it can often spread because it's just so difficult to know these days what's true. So we're partnering with the News Literacy Project to make sure that you get the facts to make your own decisions. Here's Annie Taylor with an explainer of what you'll see here this week and how local schools are involved. There is so much coming at us every day. How do we know what is fact and what's fiction? This week, we are partnering with the News Literacy Project to answer that question. What to trust and what not to trust. This News Literacy Project will play out all week in schools across the country. Our journalists will work side by side with students here at home to create a news literate generation that can spot misinformation and prevent others from spreading it. They'll collaborate with kids on topics that are important to our community. You'll see special coverage, events, and conversations around information and cutting through all the noise to get to the truth. Knowing what is fact and what is fiction is essential to a healthy democracy. And this week, we'll shine a light on misinformation, how to avoid it, and make sure it doesn't get in the way of knowing the true story. Annie, thank you. And here's our first report, exploring the effect of social media from students in Tampa. Because I try to really keep my social media positive. Sierra Sizemore is a student at Plant High School, as well as a model and musician. She uses Instagram to gain exposure, but some followers are not always supportive. I think there's no reason to be putting out negative energy like that, so I just don't tolerate it. As we go full circle on this story, we wanted to get multiple viewpoints on the impact social media can have on students like Sierra. We will introduce you to this high school teacher, who told us they see how hard it is for teens to tune out the pressure for likes and comments online. We also sought out Dr. Jennifer Blessing. She's a psychology professor at the University of Tampa and has spent years looking at how social media affects college students. It's not about the social media, it's about who am I. She says students are searching for their identity online, but often it leaves them feeling empty. How do you draw empathy in a relationship that's not a real relationship? Brooks de Bartolo teacher Katie Walsh says they've seen students having trouble filtering out misinformation from what they read online. It's really short chunks of the news and sometimes it's already with a spin and so the critical thinking of taking a news story, a neutral news story, and um, un fully understanding it and then building their own opinion gets lost. In the meantime, students say they're more aware of what's being put on social media. They've seen celebrities and politicians face backlash for posts. We get to witness that. We get the privilege of seeing that. So I think it's really important because now we have the responsibility to be more careful about what we post. But social media isn't going away. And Sierra says these platforms can be used for good. She's posting about the fires in Australia and hopes to use her page to bring awareness. No matter how famous or public you are, you should always be just true to yourself and to the world around you. Really good words to live by there.